Carlos Tate, I'm a project manager with the Galveston District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, my activities involve uh, navigation uh, projects primarily. I uh, have to lead those projects through the planning, design, and the uh, implementation of the project. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, I collect information, uh, explain that information to the team, and we transmit that information in terms of uh, the financial, scheduling, uh, estimating for the projects to be completed on time and on, on budget. I've worked on the uh, Corpus Christi Ship Channel project, which is a major navigation project here at the district. I'm proud of it because I saw the project through, through the uh, primary initial stages, through the life cycle, up to the final uh, letting of the last contract, and uh, that was one of my best projects. It was a $600 million project. It's actually still underway and still being finalized, but that's one of my most uh, projects that I'm most proud of. The project impacts commerce in the nation because uh, there's a lot of uh, commerce uh, as far as ship traffic that travels through the uh, Port of Corpus. You have uh, military helicopters that are brought into the uh, uh, to the facilities at the port. You also have uh, oil and gas uh, uh, tankers that are in and out of the port daily. So that definitely adds economic benefits to the nation and that local community. No, you don't have to be in the Army. I'm a civilian employee. You don't have to be a member of the Armed Forces. is not required to be a project manager here at the Galveston District. I would think first, uh, usually uh, to have a degree, but to be an effective listener, uh, a good communicator, and the ability and uh, want to get things done. Because at the end of the day, being a project manager is just really getting things done. Well, um, working in the district is, is good. We work with a lot of good people, um, a lot of good team members. It's diversity. I think leadership uh, will definitely, uh, they'll listen, they'll listen attentively, but you do have moments that you're going to have to um, take charge of certain project tasks to get things done. Leadership does empower you to do that. As a project manager, you're pretty much the one door to the core. So you're the first face that they see when we're starting a project and really the, the last phase when the project's closing out. So uh, definitely you have to have that uh, empowerment from leadership to advance. Uh, some of the benefits are, I think, uh, well, I'll start monetarily. I think uh, uh, as far as the core, and I have worked in private industry, the pay is pretty competitive. Uh, you do get the retirement benefits here. Uh, as far as overall, uh, it's just a good working environment day to day. I live in the Houston area, which is a metropolitan city about 45 minutes north of Galveston District. It's primarily a city comprised of a lot of oil and gas uh, uh, companies, but that's primarily where I live. Uh, there's a lot of activities to do in a, in a major city like Houston. Uh, uh, there's arts, there's a theater district. Uh, there's different festivals that, that are able to be attended in, in the Houston area. Uh, the economy is very good, so uh, if you're looking for jobs, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of diversity, uh, and a lot of uh, good eating places for sure in the area. Well, I guess I would say uh, the Corps has been around for 200 years, uh, or longer, actually longer. Uh, and we've done huge projects, everything from the Pentagon to helping with the Panama Canal. So definitely when you come to the core, uh, even if your name isn't known, we work on such legacy projects. Just having that, that, that input, knowing that I did imprint on something that could potentially be a legacy type project is one thing of working with the core that I think most people would, may find uh, interesting.